Every rail enthusiast likes a flask. Not just this type, but this type as well. I particularly like these three photographs that are found on the internet of early Magnox flasks being steam hauled on British Rail. I like the contradiction of the modern nuclear age juxtaposed against the old steam technology. I decided to have a go at 3D printing a wagon and flask and its cover. So here we go. I found a diagram of a triple axle bogey which gave me the basic dimensions. I also screen grabbed a side on image of a similar bogey which I scaled and used to overdraw the basic elements such as the springs and the axle boxes. Fortunately the arrangement of the wheels means that there's a lot of symmetricality so I was able to mirror components and then where there were differences modify as necessary which gave me the final spring layout. I then added the suspension hangers, bolts, fixings and brackets and also produced a balancing spring between the front two axles. I had to add some thickening pieces and small components to tie the springs back to the bogey sides. After that it was a relatively straightforward job of uh, tracing the outline of the bogey, reproducing rivet heads and then mirroring it all onto the second side of the bogey and, a, and joining the two together and put in a bit of extra structure in until we got the finished item. I did also take into account things like NEM pockets and couplings and had to adjust the basic shape as necessary. And apart from a few tweaks for the pinpoint bearings, that's the bogey finished and ready to be printed twice. After the bogey, I moved on to make the deck of the wagon. I knew that they had an overall length of 49 and a half feet over the buffer beams, which enabled me to scale some photographs I'd found on the internet and use that in conjunction with other Flatron wagons to produce the structure. And then underneath I created some backbone beams, then turned them into an eye section, copied them, and then copied it to the edge. Add the buffer beams and two bogey pivots, plus some transverse beams under the well area. And having looked at certain photographs, I realised that it had thickening plates in the central section to increase its strength in the well and a shed load of rivets and the base pads for the buffers. And next I set about constructing the support system for the flask. Two square section beams and then a secondary short beam on top and then an eye section linking the two together into which was fitted corner capture plates which snugly cradle the flask. Finally I made four locating shoes for the legs of the cover which is placed over the flask when it's in transit and the wagon is pretty much ready to print. The last job was to split it in half in the centre as my print volume is somewhat limited and then put the various components into Cheetu Box which is the printing processing package. First it was the bogies. I went through five different experimental versions of it until I found one which worked perfectly with the bearings and then printed both and inserted the brass pinpoints. Bearings located. Next job was to spray it all matte black, fit the Backman turned wheels, the NEM pockets and finally add the brake wheels to each side. Next into the 3D printer is the half deck. 
I tried various different ways of printing it, laying it flat, standing it up. Here you can see it in the G2 box program with support to hold various bits of it up. And it takes no longer to print two because it's the highest point dictates the time. In this case, it was predicting a 10 hour print. So put it on in the evening, come back in the morning, there's your model. This is the final version you're looking at. And I removed the cross eye beam to make it a bit easier, printed them separately, glued two of them together, filled the gap with fine filler, cleaned up the bottom, and then the next bit was add a bit of weight. So I stuck four strips of brass flat stock into the bottom with Araldite, clamped it all up nice and flat, quick coat of spray primer, check that the buffers fit in the holes, and then spray it bauxite brown. This was my nearest approximation to it. It did vary a lot, so I'm not really fussed by that. There you go. Spin it round, get into the bits you missed. Right, final assembly. Buffers on. Hooks on. There's the top side of it. All we need to do now is put the bogies on. The central bogie screw is under the middle axle, so bogies go on first and the final axle goes in afterwards. One complete, two complete. There you go, finished wagon. Various different angles. I think all we need to do now is draw up a flask. But I think I'll leave that for next time. So please comment, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell for notification. See you next time.